and one very small old lady with a hooked nose. It would be an easy map if that were all, but there's also the first day at school. Fathers, religion, the round pond, needlework. Murders, Pencil and a piece. 
piece of paper. One seventeen here, two and six at the office. I can cut my copy at the office, say, pay attention, it's making two nine six, with your eighteen three makes three nine seven, with five not much nine seven, making eight nine seven. Who is that moving? <laughs> 897, Dawson Perry 7. Don't speak my own. And the town mental man at the door. Quiet, child. Dawson Perry child. There, you've done it. Did I say 997? Yes, I said 997. The question is, can we try it for a year on 997? He really was the grander character of the two. Remember, Mom sent. We'll be caught, at least say 15 shillings. And so on it went, and it added up differently each time. But at last, when we just got through, with mumps reduced to 12 6 and the two kinds of measles treated as one. Stars are beautiful, but they may not take an active part in anything. They must just look on forever. It is a punishment put on them for something they did so long ago that no star now knows what it was. So the little ones still wonder. They aren't very brilliant, Peter, who had a mischievous way of stealing up behind them and trying to blow them out. But they are so fond of fun that they are on the side tonight and anxious to get the grown-ups out of the way. So as soon as door 27 closed on Mr. and Mrs. Darling, there was a commotion in the room. And the smallest of all the stars in Milky Way cried out, Now, Peter! Peter, now! If you ask your mother whether she knew about Peter Pan when she was a little girl, she says, Why, of course I did, child. But then if you ask her if he wrote on a goat in those days, she says, What a foolish question to ask! Certainly he did. But then if you ask your grandmother whether she knew about Peter Pan when she was a little girl, she also says, Why, of course I did, child! But then if you ask her whether he wrote on a goat in those days, she says she never heard of his having a goat. Perhaps she has forgotten. Just as you sometimes forget your name and calls you Mildred, which is your mother's name, still, she could hardly forget such an important thing as a goat. This shows that in telling the story of Peter Pan, there was no goat when your grandmother was a little girl. It also shows when you're telling the story of Peter Pan to begin with the goat, as most people do, is as silly as to put on your jacket before your vest. Of course, it also shows that Peter is ever so old. But he's really always the same age. So his age does not matter in the least. And though he was born so long ago, he has never had a birthday, nor is there the slightest chance of his ever having one. The reason is, is that he escaped from being a human when he was just seven days old.
Wendy, when I'm with myself, Wendy, one girl is more used than 20 boys.
You know I come here, Wendy. Me? To hear stories, you see. I don't know any stories, and none of the lost boys know any stories. How perfectly awful. Do you know us for all the building these houses? It's the listeners' stories. Oh, Wendy, your mother was telling you such a lovely story. What story was it? About the prince who couldn't find the lady with a glass slipper. Oh, Peter, that was Cinderella. He found her in the top of the apparatus. Hey, where are you going? To tell the little boys. Oh, no, don't go, Peter. I got some lots of stories. Hello? Who's there? Let's do a billion miles. Oh, 
right hand. But for me again to open right, you must give it to me. I promise. Tink was flying with them, and in her life they could distinguish each other. Unfortunately, she could not fly so slow as they, so she had to go round and round them in a circle in which they flew as a halo. Tinkerbell landed first.
is still tonight. This is the hour when children are in their homes a bed, their lips bright brown with the good night chocolate, their tongues drowsily searching for bladed crumbs housed insecurely on their shining cheeks.
at the shoulders where the rings used to be. Perhaps we can all fly if we were as dead confident sure as was bold Peter Pan that evening. The reason why there are bars on nursery know. windows and a tall fender by the fire is because very little people sometimes forget they have a I window. should know. And they try to fly away through the window. I I'm should know. Show. When the first baby laughs.
poisons me. I do have them now, I do. Oh, really still is the night. This is the hour when children are in their homes a bed. Compare with them this child, a pirate mother from now on. Split my infinitives, but tis my hour of triumph. Something tells me I should make my dying speech now. For when I die, I may have no time for it. Mortals envy me. But perhaps it would have been better not to have had such ambition. When children play at Peter Pan, no one wants to be me. They force the baby to play as Captain Hook. The baby? That is where the king of Nars. Oh, I don't want to play you, Captain. Oh, they find me lovable, pathetic to me. A nonconformist pirate. A happy smile upon his face because they believe they fear him. Oh, um, but they do. How can I break a jewel? Smee, train the prisoner!
By now, Pan has met his fate. You won't get away with this. I won't stay here. You can have her on the way, Captain. Oh, she'll come around, wrapped in the blanket of the night which no sound can penetrate. Oh, man unfathomable, it is his hour of triumph. Fame, fame, that glittering bottle, it is mine. Really quite good form to extinguish that anything. I am the only man who barbecue feared, and Flint feared barbecue. Is it not bad form to think about good form? My child, you closer and closer approach the flame. Find that. It was Pan I wanted, chiefly Pan. And now I got him. He made my iron cloth twitch, and at night disturbed me like an insect. No harm in that. Yes, Captain. While we live, you are a brain and a cage to which a sparrow had come. He still lives. I know it. Oh, I bet. Listen, I'm not wholly evil. I love sweet music and flowers. And let it frankly be admitted, the idyllic nature of the scene stirs me profoundly. It takes a lot of inspiration to do what I do. I hate you. Oh, no little children love me. Shall I hoist her up there? We've been fine with a lot of other anyway, Captain. Why change now? Very well, then. Amen. 
by the bank. I am responsible for it all. I, George Darling, did it. Mayor Cooper, Mayor Cooper, I lost our child, he said. They sat thus, night after night, recalling that fateful Friday, till every detail of it was stamped on their brains and came through on the other side like the faces on a bad coin. I have not accepted an invitation to die. My fatal gift of humor, dearest. But she is about trifles. The empty nursery. Because they got so unintentionally, so precisely like a hundred other evenings. Oh, shut that window, dear. I feel a draft. Oh, don't. Never ask me to do that. The window must always be left open for her, always! Always. Full of kisses, but not so full as 
my mother's is. She cries here to see. I'm fond of her too. He can't both have her. She won't make the best of it. <laughs> 